and oh my god look at this the fibers it's crazy look at this come on man clean clean the whole thing you see where's the vacuum well, hello guys today i'll be showing you how to do a proper treatment Oh, sorry. sorry. So, got any t-shirt for me to do pre-treatment? Looks like everybody is ignoring me at the moment. <laughs> this one want to do pre-treatment? Come, let me do it. Huh? Let me do it. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Okay, so I have one t-shirt to do pre treatment so I'm gonna show you how to do a proper pre treatment and all the problems that comes with it. Okay? If you're working on t-shirts that you use all the time then there's no need to do this fiber fiber cleaning stuff. So if your customer provides you the t-shirt, so it's better to check first, see if there's any fibers because you don't know if uh, later it will damage the your print. So if there are a lot of fibers then you use this to remove the fibers okay, usually we don't do this because it's not so efficient but of course it's better be safe than sorry okay, this is this comes very handy if you don't have this then you can use a what what a masking tape masking tape to stick the fibers okay so the first thing is we do the treatment so this is the, the cube treatment. Usually we don't wait the treatment. We don't usually wait like 20 grams, 30 grams. We usually use speeds. Okay, we memorize the speed. And this is a uh, level three, which we usually use for 180 GSM t-shirt. The much thicker one. For thinner one, like 160 or 150, which we don't usually use. But if we does, then we use a level 6 to 7 like that which equals to maybe 20 grams okay so the fisherman we mix uh, 1 to 1.5 which is 1 fisherman liquid and 1.5 tap water and okay, this one now we do fisherman okay come this is level 3 so the speed is kind of a bit slow back and forth okay. once we already do pitchman you see the pitchman is still not so even you can see the pitchman is not so even so we will use this this soft brush and then we will swipe one direction see it's more even now right you can see the comparison it's more even here and it's not so even here so why we want to swipe one direction because we want the fibers to lay down to face one direction okay you don't go and use swipe like this because the fibers will mess up like this so now we swipe all one direction right for the fibers to go one direction and it's very even now we don't usually use the the roller type because it will absorb back the treatment and it's not so not so good not so recommended to use now we are going to do the heat press oh, this. And usually we will track in the t-shirts because we don't want the treatment to stain the, the other side so you need to get a heat press machine that you can track in another thing is we use this uh, teflon this uh, what what I found is this. I'm not sure what they call this, but this is a uh, it's kind of like plastic looking type, plastic look alike. Right. Press. Usually we hit uh, 180 Celsius and 60 seconds to dry the treatment with a uh, medium pressure. Moving up next, this is the uh, example of not enough pre or not enough ink see you can see the the white is not so solid 
you can see the, the you can see still see the garments color yeah okay let me show you the other side okay this is more obvious okay you can still see the garment color like there's a dotted black there. so this is the example of not enough pretreatment or not enough ink okay in this case uh, sometimes we use eco mode so it's, it is a reduced white ink to save the inks for for large image but you, get, you, you still get this kind of not so solid thing but it is much thinner not so thick some customer like it but of course uh, many customer don't like it because it's not so solid the colors so you can see the red is not so red because because the white and pretreatment is very important as long as you get the pretreatment and white right then all the color will appear very vibrant see the camera is showing uh, very red but from what I can see here is uh, more like uh, maroon, a bit of maroon already, not not chili red. So if you compare with uh, other t-shirts, let me show you. we try not to print on old t-shirts because this is a risk to take so usually we will print on a t-shirt that is proven like Gildan or something that we tested and printed a lot already so that we are confident that it will come out very nice because uh, you see example for this one this one is an old t-shirt once heated you can see a very discoloration the stain see very obvious this coloration here this one is still 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 black not exactly black actually this is a black t-shirt but it looks kind of very washed out faded faded black already so this one you can see it turns a bit purple okay but the printing is uh, come out quite nice for the front very solid very solid but the back is very very bad okay, the back have a lot of uh, fibers coming off you see uh, maybe the way they wash the back okay you can see close up close up fibers coming out see all fibers coming off so when you print you have fiber issues very obvious fibers issue see fibers all coming up so this one customer don't mind because they know they bring us old t-shirts to print so this one the client knows so it doesn't matter much but this one you have to be careful so fibers is the main issue here but if you know how to avoid if you know where the problems come from, you can avoid uh, getting fibers issue. Uh, I'll give you one example. Okay, let's say if you're working on uh, t-shirts that the fibers come off easily, then you have to be careful because... Okay, uh, let me show you. Because if you leave your t-shirt for too long, the fibers will accumulate here. Okay, you need to cover up your t-shirt. But if you're working on uh, t-shirts that the, the fibers don't come off easily, then of course you won't have this issue okay this one yesterday we worked on some interlock fabric the fibers is everywhere you see as you can see the top one is very very obvious and there's a lot of fibers so have you ever wondered why sometimes you print you print a lot and all of a sudden one t-shirt have fibers issue and the rest is all okay so this is the issue okay so the first one will have fiber issue the second one looks okay so if you put this 
you, if you leave the t-shirt for too long then you need this you need to use this to get rid of all the fibers then only you do pre-treatment so let's say if you're printing on fabric that has a bit of polyester you need to be extra careful because you will get dye migration uh, especially red color and what other color what other color have to be careful Black, pink yellow where got pink light blue you almost listing down every color already <laughs> what for dye migration yeah, that might be usually navy blue, usually black, navy blue, black, red. Red, red is the most obvious, right? Mm. Okay. So what you need to do is you don't heat for too long, and temperature don't too high. Or you can do a hover, hover, which is uh, you show them how to hover. Hover means uh, basically means you don't press, you don't press the fabric. You just hold it there. Okay, let it dry up a bit. Then maybe you press for 10, 20 seconds. That will do. Certain Certain fabric will have a very heavy high uh, dye migration, but this, in this case, uh, this gildan is quite okay. Yeah, but you see, okay, this is the this is the problem with the uh, treatment not dry enough. You see, well, you can see. Yeah, you can see. See this slightly discolored one. Dots there and here, here, this part. This is a pigment not not dry enough, so the moisture is still trapped there. Okay, and then when when you do heat press, it's kind of like uh, go through the white color. So this is the another good example to show you. See why this one this one can do vinyls or screen printing. Or DTF, but I don't know why customer choose to do DDG, which is not so solid and have a risk of dye migration. Okay, this is all the same, all single color, all single color, but client choose to do DDG. So what can we do? We just follow what they want. We already suggest final inspector, but. You know, heat transfer is kind of give people the impression like very fragile. Like after you wash, it will it will peel off, come off. So a lot of people they prefer DTG because DTG is more comfortable. But of course, I won't recommend you to do this on hoodie if compared to you know heat transfer or DTF because uh, you have a lot of like dye migration issue. What other issue if you do DTG? Color not so solid. Printing dull. Printing dull. Yeah, and then uh, what else? The pigment stain. Okay, uh, those are some issues that we face usually. Okay, for white t-shirts, of course, it's very easy. Uh, this one, this one, but the CMYK will fade over time. So it's a give and take. Same like vinyl, you will peel off. Everything you need to wash according to instructions. Like you cannot uh, hot dry or hot wash or bleach soap for holding what what iron yeah iron 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 yeah you cannot iron anything that related to heat is better to avoid. Tengok kamera. Tengok kamera cakap hi. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the fibers there. Not so clear. Yeah, you see the fibers coming off. It's not totally laid down. See the edge here. You see? Ah. Yeah, you see the fibers. So this one is uh, usually uh, the the heat press is not enough pressure, and the pressurement is not dry enough. And the heat press, you need to apply more pressure on the heat press machine. So you can press the fibers now. Once you press it, if you want to leave it for for few hours or days, it's better you preheat again for three seconds with uh, medium medium pressure, so that the fibers will lay lay back down and sticks to the to the t-shirt. So then you can get a very solid and good print. So this one is uh, consider okay, not too bad, but you should look out because. Uh, 
some customer might not like it because the white is currently looking like a uh, few fibers there okay so that is the example of prints on a treatment that is not dry enough so that's before curing and this is this is the result after curing here you can see this is the result if your pitchman is not dry enough you see a lot of uh, lines there the ink is not sitting properly on on the t-shirts okay this part this part is very obvious yeah so this one is a uh, very much depend depending on the garment as well for for much thicker garments maybe you don't see things like this but you will see uh, like like a dotted dotted black black spots like that because that is the moisture moisture coming up okay so there's another issue with pre-treatment with certain pre-treatment not all okay whereas if you mix too too little water and too much pre-treat you will get a crystallization but i cannot show you right now because i don't want to purposely do it crystallization it looks similar almost like this i see you get a lot of this kind of stain and then sometimes you will see a bit uh, of a like sand or, or salt like that okay a white tiny tiny kind of things okay all over all over the t-shirt this is called crystallization what you can do is you reduce pre-treatment and yeah add more water or you if you cannot do that then uh, you can try to hover hover longer or maybe you hit hit 20 seconds and then you release first let the moisture come out let the moisture come out okay and then you hit again for 20 seconds so that is the way to avoid crystallization or maybe you put a double layer of teflon okay so let's end this video and this is our pre-treatment expert uh, who's very stubborn sometimes <laughs> because because uh, we have a certain ratio to mix for the fisherman but he always want to use his way to mix we have a measuring cup measuring cup so usually i will ask them to mix like 100 ml then equals to uh, 150 ml of the water but they usually use the bottles instead because it's faster so he's a kind of stubborn kind of thing because he just uh, play a guessing game game death right right it's convenient to him it's, it's yeah yeah it's convenient to him but sometimes when you have uh, issues you will not know where the issues come from because you don't even know how accurate you mix the the ratio of the pitchman and water right yeah and for pitchman usually we use tap water we have uh, no issue so far until now we don't usually use uh, distilled water as per recommended by brother uh, okay so what are the issues i think i think uh, pitchman pitchman is the most crucial part for ddg printing Okay, once you get the pitchman right, then the print will eventually look very nice, uh, color, color very vibrant. But of course, uh, there are a lot of issues for pitchman too. Not not only the the one that I showed just now. So in case if you have a pitchman issue, you can leave a comment right below, so I can see how I can guide you or resolve it. Okay. Uh, so usually, what are the challenges you face, huh, for pitchman? Crystallization. What? Crystallization. Crystallization. Yeah, hey, which I already mentioned earlier. Oh. Huh? What? But what other? Other than crystallization, stain, uh, fibers. No right. No. Yeah. Only you. Can, you need to fix your stubborn. <laughs> your stubborn attitude. Yeah, your attitude. His attitude. Yeah. Oh, and oh my God! Look at this. The fibers crazy look at this come on man clean clean the whole thing you see where's the vacuum okay i guess that's it for now thanks for watching and then sorry for this uh vlogging kind of style because i'm too lazy to edit the video and this stupid messy hair okay okay bye guys